perfect, perfect, perfect. And I'm giving out an opportunity to join my program in case you are interested in YouTube or you have been watching me for a while now. Drop your contact. Contact me on uh, Instagram or, or Facebook or any of uh, those social media. I'm going to respond to you and then I interview you. It's an opportunity. Do not waste time. So you saw the title of this video. We were, we we're going to be discussing about you was having Bob Risky, then uh, Shatawale and Portable. There's an issue with uh, Shatawale from Ghana and Portable from Nigeria. Over their song, they did recently and one certain Nigeria promoter, businessman in the music entertainment industry, has refused to release the song. You know, business, music business is kind of like trickish. A musician drops a song. A man who doesn't even know how to sing, who has never, never recorded any song before, is holding the song because of music business. Well, let's listen to Portable. Yeah, well, I don't do song with Kilo Neto Man Te Iti Mole. They're not going to drop the hit because you sing past them. You you murder them. Why? Half a million in me, I'm going to call you. I'm going to make bad on the studio. And you go to Portable and you put the drop song from my studio. Bo, bo. Kilo Neto, I'm going to make bad on the studio. I'm going to make bad on the studio. Unique, unique motto. I'm going to make bad on the studio. And I'm going to make bad on the studio. I'm going to make bad on the studio. I want to bring you. I put a belly in me, my follow my belly. I put a belly in my pocket. Bankuli, say eh. I'm a boy, I'm a bankuli. Honey, what? I put a belly in go. Lo, oremini. In Bazi, motive. Eh, on a Sunday, the kid don't drive. Ni moto mi brush it bau. Mosa, mosa, if you moto let me walk on. Mo pada, mo lotro, moto mi. Eh, if you mo akini mi mi jodo, mo koni ya o mi kuo. So I just want to see you come back, cool your nose, shut me, sit down, yo. Now, Monty decided I want Skepta, Monty Blow. Hey, me Tony Montana, he got him a war. Now international musician, no be international deal I define. No be international fashion I define. Where I lose my deal I gone. Now I don't jump Skepta. Skepta is full mini fashion. I want what he got. See, ah, portable. Mm -hmm. Does it have a permanent friend? If you didn't go today, just for you to rip in tomorrow, he's going to call you out. And again, you know, he's currently in London. Skepta showed him a lot of love. But at the same time, if Skepta do any music with Portable, and Skepta refused to drop that song, Portable will be on that guy has. <laughs> you can be fair with Portable today, doing well. But tomorrow, if you are disrespecting his music or trying to make him fall, he's going to call you out immediately. Someone said, he will soon call out Skepta. The other guy said, Portable isn't a snitch. He's a man that don't hide feelings. He act according to his understanding. Look at everybody he called out. He is always 70% right. When you don't act accordingly to agreement, he drag you. The industry is full of users. They will drain your energy. Then give someone closer to sell your story. Then that is the end of the career. To me, portable is what fits the industry. <laughs> well, you guys might blame me for speaking out, but me, I don't blame him because I don't understand how this. Is so, see, the music business here is destroying the music entertainment industry. Of course, there is no music entertainment industry without the music business. The music business is destroying the music entertainment industry. So few persons are counted. So few persons who want to do business, who are greedy with business, they just want to make this massive profit, are going into music business. And they are ruining people's lives. Just imagine you having the passion to sing. Passion to sing and you go into music. 
Someone already there with a boss who has never one day taken a mic to say hi, just to sing a bass. Never in his life. He doesn't even know how to. The voice is not there. The charisma is not there. The passion is not there. We'll be dictating on how some songs will be released, on how some artists will work with other artists, on how an artist to act accordingly, on how an artist to act politically, how the artist to drop a song, when and what method. Who gives you the right to call you a businessman? I've said it before. Those businessmen are greedy. That is why some people even appreciate someone who knows about music, who can sing, who has that passion for music, open up a music business. That's why you see a lot of uh, artists now, successful artists are going into music business. Sorry, Don Jazzy, Olamide, they are Davido. So many of all those artists, they can relate to the passion. They can relate to someone who wants to drop song. Who believe in himself, not someone who doesn't have any clue on how. I don't know the issue between Shatawale and Portable. They did a song together, and Portable wanted that song to be released. I don't know the connection between Bagole with Portable and Shatawale. That he doesn't want to drop the song. <laughs> and Portable is not having it. Portable is the kind of person that fits the industry. Look at Mobad. Mobad is God now. Who is talking about uh, Mobad? If you are feeling it, say it the way you are feeling it. Don't just keep quiet. These mus these businessmen are ruining the music business. They are ruining the music industry. Just the same way they ruined our Nollywood entertainment industry. They know they now know the music industry in Nigeria is lucrative. They are coming into the music industry. Come on, man. Come on. Oh well, I am supporting portable anytime, anytime. Like you should speak out. You know, usually I use not to support him, but then I begin to understand. I begin to understand the whole process on how he's getting whatever he's getting now, on how he becomes really popular. You know, you can't just push portable to one side, it's gonna talk and allow him to talk. Then let's talk about the sugar mommy in town. No. See, I cannot even agree. Hmm? Even better. See what savage. Hmm? See what savage is about more than 40 years old. Yeah. According to Wikipedia, she is 43 years old. I think she qualifies to be sugar mommy now. Yeah. There are some new musicians now who are like 2019 that are doing well. She was savage, is 43, and I think she qualifies to be a sugar mommy in the music entertainment industry. So she recently shared this video and uh, this really cute uh, photos online. Then 43 and still looking this good. I do not care about the side talk. I do not care about the surgery whatsoever. You know, there is nothing wrong about someone getting a plastic surgery, trying to enhance his uh, her body. Yes, her body, not his. I, I, I don't want to include his. Trying to enhance her body. Nothing, absolutely nothing wrong. But make sure everything blend. You know? If you must do it, make sure you use a professional that will blend everything. And honestly, obviously, Tima Savage body blend. Okay, okay. Let me not get lost and uh, cover my face with the blood of uh, Jesus. I will not say evil in Jesus' name. <laughs> my eyes shall not see evil in Jesus' name. Can I hear you say amen? 
So like I've said before, plastic surgery is, 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 is not recommended for me, but if you have the money, please do better one. And make sure say the body balance, you know, balanced diet. Where someone sees, you know, someone will, will, will well appreciate your body. Let me say someone say we'll say we TP this way, this person will do it. You know, all those kind of thoughts. Mm -hmm. If you must do it, make it balance. Balance well. Understand like you are saying, no. I can testify to that now, tomorrow, and next tomorrow that you are saving body is well balanced. Well, I can testify to that. Purely from my heart. Straight up. It's balanced. So do it, but make sure it's balanced. Please. Don't do it like uh, the one of uh, Bob Risky. Don't do it like the one of uh, Bob Risky. <laughs> Don't do it like the one of Bob Risky. And even speaking of Bob Risky, I heard that Bob Risky is engaged. And uh, she recently did an introduction. See, not be everything you will see in Bob Risky. In fact, 99% of what Bob Risky does online are usually fake. Pure fake. Pure one. 99%. So, why are you going to see what Bob Risky uh, do online and you think it's real? And I don't understand some guys. Ah. We, we keep saying this. As soon as Nigeria legalized LGBTQ, you'll be so surprised. Even your boyfriend there, they connect Kukumba from back. You'll be so surprised. Be extremely so surprised. Well, but that whole engagement stuff absolutely lies. I don't believe that issue. She does everything for public relevance and for you know for just the fame. So she's gonna do her anything. And she's gonna even deny it though. Even though it's true. Maybe police now one call the attack and she will say, no, it's just for fame, it's just for this and that. 